what's up ladies good morning how are you guys today it's your girl pastora janice batista here i woke up early today because i wanted to um jump on the live and just share with you guys a little word today this morning that the lord was really putting on my heart for you guys today i pray that all of you guys are doing good whether you're going to be watching this video on your lunch break later on tonight tomorrow during the weekend regardless of when you see this video i want you guys to really be blessed by it and i want you guys to really learn okay and i know that we have some new um sisters that are coming on to the lives that were writing me yesterday i know i have like so many messages i gotta get back to but i want to welcome all of the new subscribers all of the new ladies that are joining the videos thank you so much for being a part of what god is doing i feel like this is a perfect season for us to rebuke fear this is a perfect season for us to rebuke the enemy this is a perfect season for us to not look at anything that the enemy is doing this is a perfect time for us to march forward in bravery okay like mighty soldiers the mighty soldiers that we are and i feel like today the word that the lord was putting in my heart today um really has a lot to do with satanic dreams and sometimes the satanic dreams can really affect your destiny. And I don't know if you guys are active dreamers or not, but I think it's very important to talk about this for those that are at, that those is very important for us to talk about this because there are people that have an active high dream antenna and there are other people that don't really have, um, they, they can't even remember their dreams. So it's important for us as the body of believers to like literally discuss our dreams or at least have an open area open space where we can act openly discuss it okay so i don't know what type of dreams you guys have been dreaming but i'm gonna talk about um food feedings and i should have put that in the in the title i'm definitely gonna go back and probably add that on there because this is one of the re this is one of the things that the enemy does to try to stop your success and he does it through dream feedings this is the reason why it's so important right when you are christian to be connected with the right people people who are prayer warriors and are intercessors not just once a week but they're literally intercessors all week long okay you can't be dealing with people that only want to pray you know when it's convenient for them you got to be around real prayer warriors that pray all day every day that are in communion with the lord this is why it's important for you to not be connected to those flesh like type people amen or leaders that are seriously just there to waste your time and to waste theirs because they have no direction from the lord they have no direction from the holy spirit they have no direction in their life so um even yesterday I noticed that God is doing so many like amazing things in my life. And I noticed yesterday that I ended up having this dream that it had to do with them trying to feed me things that I liked. Okay. And it was Pepsi and Chick-fil-A sandwiches, like literally. And you have to understand something. Whenever we as the body of Christ have any type of dreams where we're sitting down and we're eating or we're partaking and breaking bread with people. Or we are, um, you know, and God bless you, um, Brooke. She said, I'm an intercessor, prayer warrior, woman of God. I can feel things before they even happen. I have the gift of knowing. Amen. And yes, the you ha we have to. And that's a beautiful gift. That's what I have to. I have a, the spirit of discernment. And I can discern spirits. And um, it's a beautiful thing when we have that because God is going to use it for his glory. This is another reason why I'm sharing this because there may be other women today that are going to jump on the live. And guess what? They have dreams where they're eating things in their dreams too. That's why if you look at my last post, right? The reason why we dream these type of dreams as the body of believers that we are is because the Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen, right? So there are the, there are people out there, evil people. God bless you, Ombre, my love. Amen. Welcome. 
there are evil people if you guys could please like and and share the video so other women can get on in the room and be blessed by this video right um you know so there are a lot of people out there that are evil and they're full of envy and jealousy why because when you are chosen by god you are chosen excuse me, with a specific purpose over your life. So you already shine. The Bible says that we shouldn't take the light that we have in Christ and put it under a table. The Bible says that we are supposed to let that light shine, meaning that everybody who is around us or comes in contact with us, they have to see our light. And that light is going to frustrate the people in our lives because they're going to see the dreams. They're going to see that the dreams and are the manifestations of God. The dreams are, are, are speaking to us the heart of God. So this is the reason why the devil tries so hard to pollute our dream life so that we can come into covenant. Okay. So that we could come into covenant believing and what the devil projected into our life. And some people may be like, oh, well, I was dreaming and I was eating a chicken sandwich. And, is you know, there's nothing wrong with that. No, it is something very wrong with that. Even for me as a mighty woman of God, that's why when I wake up, I have to declare it into the atmosphere and be like, I rebuke that Pepsi in the name of Jesus in my dream that I was dreaming. I rebuke that chicken sandwich in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the devil, right? He likes to pollute it to you. It may look like a basic Pepsi and a, and a chicken sandwich, but guess what? To God, God knows that those things are polluted because the devil is never going to feed you. The devil is a liar. The devil is a deceiver, right? What does the, what does the devil gain, right? To, to give you a chicken sandwich, something that you like in your dream. Like there's, there's no reason for that. And for you to be, and, and I was in a hospital to make it, to make that worse. It was in a hospital. So what do you have to do? You have to rebuke, um, any spirit of sickness, any spirit of death, any, any plot against the enemy. I didn't tell you guys this, but I think it was like the day of the music video. I think it was that day. The day we went to make a music video, the the sister that that's been here with us, the intercessor, she was she could not sleep that night. That night she literally woke up at like two in the morning and the Lord did not allow her to go back to bed. And I heard her praying and interceding. My husband too, the Lord woke him up that day. Me, it was hard because I had to work that day, I think. And it was just like, I, you know, when I come home like at two in the morning, I'm just so beat sometimes to get up at four in the morning. But they were, they were interceding. And when we went to go do the music video, we were like literally three blocks away from the old church. And you can't even imagine this lady ran the red light. And if it wasn't because of the Lord and my husband, and it was on my birthday too. I recorded that, that video on my birthday. So to make um a long story short, yeah, I, I forgot. It's like the way everything happened. It just happened so fast. But this car literally ran right, boom, ran the red light. And literally it would have smashed me on my birthday. Like literally by, and I'm talking about like not even by one second, by literally half a second. That's how fast your life could change, right? So who plots those things? The devil. The devil knows what he's doing. The devil knows like how he's plotting things and who he's going to send on a rampage. Like if it not had been for those prayers, our destiny could have changed. My destiny could have changed. This is why we have to pray to God and see God's will. I didn't tell y'all this, but this is the reason why it's so important to pray. It's important to see God at all times, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Amen. Um, Brooke said, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is using me on a daily basis to prophesy. Amen to people and lead me to say yes. It's obedience. Amen. And that's exactly what God wants from us. He wants obedience because if we don't pay attention, you see the dreams are parables. It's God speaking to us. He's speaking to our heart. So it's like we have to, and he gives us these clues. Some of them we may be able to understand. Some of them we may not be able to understand. 
understand, but it's okay. Even if you don't understand it or have somebody that can interpret it for you, it's important to speak to God and bring it up to God and be like, God, listen, I had this dream. I don't know what it means. God, I had this dream. Is it coming from you? Is it coming from the enemy? Who is it coming from? Because sometimes it could also be from our thoughts, things like you could be thinking something and 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 going through something in your life and sometimes your dream some people do have dreams that have nothing to do with God and nothing to do with the devil so you have to be very careful but when you have these dream feedings know that in the food is a is a symbolic meaning in is a symbolic um um impartation in those foods that means that those foods they are filled with um fear they're filled with pollution like you know um roadblocks stumbling blocks um they want to de you know derail your destiny they want to you know f um freeze your 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 um your prayer life they want to you know even me when i speak like it's something that like i tell you it's like the devil is always trying to you know gain a foothold in my life so it's always a consistent battle but I'm always letting him know you are a nobody you're not gonna stop me you're not gonna I'm gonna achieve the things that that God has for me over my life so the devil he will try so bad to get into your mind and the devil will try so hard to get into your dream and 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 have you eating these things that are garbage it's like literally the devil wants to make your life garbage he doesn't want you it's like you know when you it's a, who would go and eat from a dumpster right now nobody if we are the children of god and we're we're daughters of the king why would we go and eat from a dumpster when we if we have money in the bank account and we have provision who's gonna go what if i tell you hey let's go eat at golden corral right now you would be like girl let's go would if i tell you hey let's go try to look for food in the dumpster would you go to a dumpster and just go eat that food no because that food has bacteria that food is disgusting that food sometimes homeless people they go to the dumpsters and they go eat from there because they have no place to eat right and that's what they're that's their their level like that's where they're at they're homeless they have no kitchen they have no home they have no provision they have no income coming in so it's like us we are the daughters of god and i don't know why i'm saying this to y'all but i know it's gonna bless somebody amen because we have to look at it mentally we have to understand the devil we have to understand his plot and why he tries to give us because in the dream it could look like a nice chicken sandwich but in that chicken sandwich is garbage in that pizza is 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 disgusting poisons that are spells in them okay so this is what the devil does and i know to some people this may be scary as crap they may be like oh heck no like what is she talking about like some people may hear this video and they may not even be able to digest it because to them this is crazy to them is like what is she talking about like that girl is crazy because they don't understand the spiritual realm. They don't understand the devil. They don't understand the enemy. They don't understand the spiritual things. They don't understand that stuff. So, you know, the Bible says that when we dealing with, with things of, of the Lord, right, to the world, it may look like we crazy, right? Because this is why we stay prayed up. This is why we stay focused. This is why we stay, you know, connected to God and we pray and we understand that the devil is lurking. We understand understand that that darkness is is hovering over over the over the earth we understand that there's evil spirits right we understand that stuff everybody may not be able to understand that stuff everybody may not be as easily um gifted to perceive it right and to see it so it may look like craziness that i'm telling you like what there's spells in the chicken sandwich like there's garbage like bacteria in the dream and the sandwich yes because garbage is a representation of like you eat gar what happens if you eat organic stuff and you eat good fruits and stuff like that your body is going to be filled with nutrients right but you're, but when you eat in polluted stuff that's going to harm your health and that's going to lead to your body decaying. That's going to lead to death because you're eating things that are not clean. And that's what the devil does. He wants to give you what you like in your dream so that when you're eating it, you're enjoying it supposedly. And you wake up and you go about your life like the dream never happened. No, when you when you understand the dream happened, 
when God allowed you to remember the dream, you got to remember this video. You got to remember what I'm saying to you, what I'm preaching to you in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you know, you have to rebuke that and be like, man, in the, in the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke those dreams. I do not come into covenant with those dreams. I rebuke everything that I ate. I vomited out in the spirit. And it's very important for you not to even eat. And listen to me. Don't eat past 12 o'clock. Like you see that dream that I just have right now? All I'm having is some water. I will not eat until afternoon. With When you have dream feeding dreams, you can't eat until after 12. And, and it's spiritual, you know, meanings behind that. But some people may understand, some people may not. You know, because if you go about your day eating, that that you got to stay in communion with the Lord. You know, so that's one of the things that the Lord has taught me, right? To not eat when I have dreams like that. Where they trying to feed me stuff? Mm -mm. I'm not eating until past 12, 12 noon. I'm going to stay in communion all morning with the Lord. Regardless of if I got to work or not. If I'm sleeping, I am not going to eat until after 12 o'clock. So that I can stay in communion with the Lord. To let the devil know that that dream, it has no power. It has no authority over my life. And that that evil... um. Enviación, that evil enviación. How you say enviación in English? I don't even know. That evil, um, that arrow or pro evil projection, that evil projection that was sent into my life is, is, is made void in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, she said, Holy Spirit married a couple in a church with her husband. I got to anoint them with oil. Your husband never let, let me see what she said. Amen, sister. Amen. I'm so happy that God is using you like that. Um, Ombre said, I saw someone try a couple times to give me drink in a dream. And I refused the yes in the dream. Amen. And you know what? That's really good, Ombre, that you was able to refuse it. Because we understand this. In the dreams, some people may be able to refuse it and some may not. You know, but it's not something to go crazy over. But it's just something to keep in mind that we got to continue strengthening our spirit. We have to continue because like I said, the devil is the devil. Jesus is Jesus. The father is the father. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. So the plans that God has for us, you know, this is why it's important to stay connected to the Holy Spirit. Have that communication open to the father. Have that communication open to th through Jesus as well. Amen. Um, Lord has placed this on my heart. I feel the gluttony on me. Lori said um like a fat pot big belly he showed me wow well. confirmation not eating yes and another thing that we could do also i'm still working on that fitness ebook that i have for you guys it's just been hard for me to get to it i have a lot of pages done but i'm i still have to like go and work on it but i have like so many other things that i'm working on but i will say this when it comes to your health right one of the things that i've learned that we all have to do is that we have to take care of our temple and when it comes to, and this is the reason why, remember I said there may be dreams that, that come from the Lord and some that come from the devil. I know that there are dreams that also come because of the things that we eat, right? This is why it's important even before bed to not be eating fried foods and stuff like that, like unhealthy stuff, because it can affect your dream life as well. And one of the things that we need to do is make sure that we eating healthy, and eating once a day, like eat your, your lunchtime, have your rice, your beans, your chicken. Like, you know, you need to be eating regular, like chicken, like real rice and real beans, lentils. You know, you can't be, we cannot be eating, you know, a heavy breakfast, a heavy lunch, a heavy dinner. No, we have to. And I'm, and I'm telling you, cause I love pizza. I love tacos. I love, you know, Chinese food and stuff like that. But I know I also love home cooked meals because I know that some of that stuff, you know, sometimes I could eat it and sometimes I, I know when to eat. Like I can't just go outside and have that stuff for breakfast because my, you know, go batter was removed 
and that will have my stomach acting crazy. So I have to like literally eat like a like a baby. Like I have to take care of what I like eat. Like I have to have either um oatmeal in the morning or maybe a bagel with um butter and and a little slice of monster cheese and a uh, Ecuadorian tea. <laughs> so like I'll have like something like that. And then a nice lunch, you know, if I can, depending, because sometimes I'm so busy with work that I don't, you know, I have to eat on the go and stuff like that, which is also not good. Um, but then in the nighttime, we shouldn't be eating heavy things, you know, is have a sandwich, a little soup, like something light, you know, and then fruits and smoothies in between. So I'm going to definitely, you know, speak to the women of God about their health soon and just talk to them about the things that I've learned so that it can be a blessing to to your lives right and i hope that you know those of you that are listening um to this that you guys you know take care of what you're eating especially before you go to bed but the lord did take me today amen to the book of um psalms 85 and i want to go through this um with you guys really quickly and i want to show you guys what the no psalms 86 what the lord was putting in my heart today for this okay so it says hear me O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and I am needy. This was a, a prayer that King David ended up giving to the Lord when people were trying to kill him and people were trying to go after him because of their jealousy, because of their envy. So this is why I put that in my earlier post, right? That we have to, as the women of God, understand that there are people surrounding us that are full of jealousy and full of envy. Okay, this is why we get those dreams because they want to put a satanic roadblock in our dream. They want to stop us from moving forward into the king and, and they want to stop the advancement of God over our life. But we rebuke them. Anybody trying to stop any advancement over your life, I rebuke them today in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, guard my life. Amen. For I am faithful unto you. He said, and save your servant who trust in you. Amen. This is why it's important. Whenever you have a dream feeding dream, go to Psalms 86, read this in the morning and declare it over your life. Amen. It says, um, guard my life. It says, right. For I am faithful to you, God, right? He says, save your servant who trust in you. He says, you are my God. And have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call unto you all day long. Remember what I told you guys? We have to call on the Lord all day long. This is the same thing that King David was doing. And he was saying to the Lord, Lord, you are my God. Whenever you have, you know, these dream feeding dreams, you have to say to the Lord, Lord, you are my God. Let the devil know that you got a God. Let the devil know that you have a head. You have a Lord that is going to fight for you. He says, I call unto you, Lord. Lord all day long. He says, please bring joy unto your servant, O Lord. He says, for I have put my trust into you. Amen. This is why you don't got to go crazy when you have these dream feeding dreams. Like don't let it trouble your spirit. Don't let it, don't even pay it no mind. Like, you know, it's there, but don't give the devil too much too much attention, right? About the dream. Like, oh my God, somebody's working against me. Oh my God, there's an evil altar. No, we got, we already know we got hating people who are haters, people who don't want to see us happy. We already know we got fake friends, fake family members who's watching us all day long because they, they will watch you, but they won't block you. They will watch you, but they will not unfriend you. So this is why it's important to declare this because people are evil and they run to magic. People are evil. They run to evil altars. They run to witch doctors to try to stop your blessings, to try to stop your success, right? To try to create accidents, to try to create tragedies over our life. So I declare today in the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke every tragedy. We rebuke every evil, um, every evil assignment sent into our life today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, you, Lord, are forgiving and good. You are abounding in love and to all who call upon you. So that means that we can always continuously call upon the Lord because he is good and because he is forgiving and he is continuously abounding in love with those who fear him and those who have a covenant with him. Amen. He says, hear my prayer, O Lord and listen to my cry of mercy. Remember what I told you guys when we have these dreams, 
of dream feedings, we have to cry unto the Lord, ask him for mercy. We have to ask our Lord to intervene, amen, on behalf and to stand in the gap. We stand in the gap, but we also have to ask the Lord to stand in the gap with his holy angels, amen. And when we cry for mercy and we, we crying out to the Lord, he says, because when I am in distress, I call unto you and I know that you answer me, right? This is what it says right here in verse seven, right? When I am in distress, that's how we know, right? David knew when I am in distress, Lord, I can call unto you and you give me victory, right? Every day is victory in the Lord every day because something could happen and something could go south and the Lord will not allow the devil to triumph, amen, over your life, over my life, over our children, over our marriage. So we have to cover every single day. I know some people may be like, Dag, Patora, I could do it like Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like, but I can't do it all the mother days. But even if you can't, you have to try. We all have to try. He says, among the gods, there is none like you. Oh Lord. So David is not saying like, I know there's many gods, but there is none that is like you. David is letting him know, like, listen, this is why God kept giving David the victory because David knew there's many gods, but mm -mm, there is none like you. Oh God, you are the creator of the heavens. You are the creator of the earth. You are the creator of the universe. You see, there are people out there that will pray for your downfall and they pray to the universe, right? Cause they, they believe in karma. You know, they believe in, um, you know, they, they just, the, their, their judgment is not a righteous judgment, right? We have to understand that God's judgment is a righteous, right? So that's why he says to the Lord, he's like, listen, when I'm in distress, I call out to you and I know that you answer me. So God is letting him know, like there is no other God among the gods. There is none like you because statues won't answer you. But when you smart, you go to the true living God and you pray to him and you call out to him and he will respond. He will show you, amen, that he is not like the other gods. He will show you his power. He will show you his, his dominion. He will, he will frustrate your evil, those evil altars. He will frustrate those witch doctors, those evil projections that they sent to us. He will, we send it back today. Can somebody say it in the chat? We send it, send it back, Lord. Put in the chat, send it back, Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, every evil thing that was sent into our life today, oh Lord, we send it back in the mighty name of Jesus. Your daughters will not fall and stumble. Your daughters will not be held back because of these satanic roadblocks in the mighty name of Jesus, right? He says, among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord. He says, no deeds can compare with yours. He says, all the nations have made um, he says, all the nations you have made and will come to worship before you, O Lord. And he says, they will bring glory unto your name. He says, for you, God, are great and you do marvelous deeds and you alone are God. He says, teach me your ways, O Lord. You see, look at the heart of David. This is what kept giving him victory after victory after victory. He said, teach me your ways, O Lord. He says, so that I may rely on your faithfulness, right? He knew he didn't want to depend on himself. He said, I need to, 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 um, rely on your faithfulness. Now, this is the really good part right here. I want you guys to really pay attention. He says, give me an undivided heart. He says, so that I may fear your name. You see, there are people that are easily persuaded by others who have other gods. They're easily persuaded by their ways, right? And that's the point. Whenever you have these, you know, roadblocks in your life, don't get easily persuaded by others, you know, who believe in rocks, who believe in stones and mother nature and the universe and herbs and all that stuff. No, you know, and, and you having to do certain things. No, run to the Bible, run to the Holy Spirit, run to the pastor, run to the leader at church, run to, don't run to these people who don't have a title, who don't have a leadership, you know, don't run to these people that, that they try to finesse the name of God over your life, but they have no fruit in their life. They're deceivers. They're spiritualists. Amen. Trying to get you to come into covenant so that you stay stuck in the pit. Amen. And I don't know who that's for, but I believe that that was for somebody right there. Amen. He says, um, he says, give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. He says, I will praise you. O Lord, 
um, my God, with all my heart. He says, and I will glorify your name forever. You see, David, that's what gave him the victory. He said, regardless of what he's going through, he said, I am going to praise you, my Lord, my God. He said, not with half of my heart. He said, I'm going to praise you with all of my heart. He says, and I will glorify your name forever. That means that he made a covenant with God. He said that as long as I live, amen. And that's why I declare that word over my dream life, over everybody who tried to send me a chicken sandwich and the Pepsi, whoever, wherever that evil came from, I will declare that from today and, and on, amen. I will um, glorify the name of the Lord forever, amen. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all of my heart, amen. Not with half of my heart, but with all of my heart. He says, for great is your love towards me. He says that you have delivered me from the depths and from the realm of the dead. Okay, you see what I'm telling you? That's why the Bible says to us that we are in this world, but we not of this world because, because we come from a celestial world. Amen. We are representations. We are here on the earth, but people look at us like we weird because they understand the transition, right? They understand that, wait a minute, they are Christian. That means that they don't do the things that everybody else does in the world because they are not of the world no more. Like they chose, amen, to serve a living God and live. The, they, they chose to, to do away with their evil desires. They chose to do away with their flesh-like temptations and and desires right so that's why we are supposed to be different right as women of God this is why we're an example at work where we have to bring the kingdom we can't act like we're not Christian at work we have to be bold and tell people hey yes I am a Christian yes I am a believer I'm born a born again believer but let me tell you my life wasn't always like that like let we have to learn to let people in so that they know that when they mess with us we we run back to our God. We run back to our God and speak in tongues and, and pray all day, every day and rebuke them and rebuke their works because we believe that, that people are operating by spirits and demons. Like everybody around us, they have spirits that are guiding them. All right. So you either going to have the same God that we got you know, guiding you or the demons is guiding you, those demonic spirits. So we're not going to let, right, the, the demonic impartation of that those people carry affect our daily activities, affect our day-to-day -day life. Amen. So this is why he says, you have delivered me from the depths and from the realm of the dead, because those people are dead in their temptations. They're dead in their sin. Amen. So he goes, um, arrogant foes are attacking me, oh God. And he said, ruthless people are trying to kill me and they have no regard for you. This is why I, I'm, I'm learning in this season to put the fear of God in people and let people know, do not play with me. I am a daughter of Jesus Christ, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. And I pray all day, every day, and I'm into spiritual warfare. Do not play with me. Before I wasn't like that, but going through the things that I went through this year, that, you know, the, there's a, a, a higher boldness that came you know, that, that invaded the workspace. It invades every person around me because I no longer care if you come into my life and you betray me and you leave. I will tell you, you're going to leave and you're going to betray me. Know that the, know that the judgment of God will fall over your life. Know it, know it in the name of Jesus. Know that, amen, in the name of Jesus, because you shall not play with a prophet. You shall not play with a daughter of God. Like, and I'm learning to operate in, in solitude. Like, I'm learning to, to be alone. I'm learning to enjoy being alone. I'm learning to, because, you know, when you are a prophet of the Lord, you walk, you have to learn to be comfortable like that. Like some people are just comfortable with other people. And it's like, no, you're, you have to pick and choose between either your friends or your gift. And when you developing your gifts in the Lord, 
you got to be alone. When you're developing a strong prayer life, you have to be alone. You got to stop be letting, because you can't let people no longer be too familiar with you. That's why it's hard, because it's like you want to go out with them, you want to eat pizza, you want to go out to eat, hang out with people, and you don't want to talk about Christ, you don't want to talk about the word. Oh my God, the Lord will allow, you know, those friendships to break apart because we have to be kingdom minded all day. Yes, Laura every day all day every day and be surrounded by people who are in the body of christ they you can't be around people that turn it off and turn it on turn it off and turn it on no we have to keep it on all day and everybody has to know amen we because it's easy for us as women to get around other women at work and and forget about the kingdom and start talking about things that's going on no we have to talk about what's going on but we got to include the lord into that and be like i'm gonna pray for that i'm gonna you know invite Invite the Lord and the Holy Spirit into this. And they're going to be looking at you like, Esta una loca. <laughs> like, you know, they're going to be looking at you because they don't understand the kingdom. They don't understand a spiritual warfare. They don't understand demons and spirits and angels. They don't get that. But we do because we, it has been revealed unto us. This is why David, amen, he was saying to them, these arrogant fools, amen. He says, they are attacking me, oh God, right? These arrogant fools. These are not friends. These are foes. These are people who are arrogant, who are trying to deceive me and are trying to plot, right? And their cunningness and they're trying to deceive me, oh Lord, with their arrogance, right? These arrogant foes are attacking me, right? They're trying to put me in their plot. They're trying to put me at the bottom. But Lord, you created me to be on the top. And I pray that any arrogant foe around any of y'all, amen, around us and our life, any plot that they have, let it backfire on them. Amen. These ruthless people. Not only did he say arrogant foes, that means that they arrogant. That means that they full of pride. That means that they don't respect God, right? Or the people of God. That's how arrogant they are. They laugh. They 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 laugh in mischief. They laugh at in the in their cunningness, right? So he says, ruthless people are trying to kill me. Right. And he says, and they have no regard for you. So he's letting he's letting the Lord know, like, Lord, these people are really out to get me. And not only do they have no regard for me. I could deal with that. He said, but Lord, they got no regard for you. He says, but you, O Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God. You are slow to anger. Right. He says, excuse me, but you are abounding in love and faithfulness. That means, what does that mean? That means that the people that are out to get us, regardless of if they're going to succeed or not in their plot, the David is talking to the Lord in a way where, where we're able to understand as the listeners that God will spin the block for us in a way where he will also cause those foes, those arrogant people, right? Those ruthless people, those arrogant foes and those ruthless people to come into salvation through us if they allow it. That's why it's important, right? For us to have the victory in Christ, not only because what we do in the spiritual realm is going to reflect in the physical realm. And that's something that I'm learning what we are, you know, and I've always known that, but I'm learning it in greater depths in this season, that the more we pray to the Lord and declare things in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm, it is going to manifest in the, in the spiritual physical realm, we are going to see the hand of God over our life because the Lord is gracious even unto our enemies, even unto those that want to harm us. He will give them a way out. But when they refuse, judgment will fall upon their life and it will be over for them, right? And this is why he says, turn to me, Oh God, and have mercy on me. He said, and show your strength in behalf of your servant and save me, he says, because I serve you. Amen. So I pray today that the Lord will come into our into all of our lives and he will save us. Amen. Because we serve him. Amen. So whatever you're going through today, whatever, you know, situations have been, you know, clouding your mind over and over like that. I'm not going to see the hand of God. I'm not going to, you know, see his way in this. I want you to be ready. We're about to go into a new year. I want you guys to be strapped up with the word. Amen. I want you guys after this video to go onto my 
my website and I'll put the link on there, destroyingevilaltars.com. And I want you guys to join our membership. I want you guys to get ready for January. January is going to be a very powerful month because we are going to, you know, just start moving things forward and we are going to start, you know, praying like never before and fasting like never before. And we are just taking it easy right now, but we are getting ready for January. But it's very important for everyone to start joining now and getting ready for that new month, getting ready for that new year. Amen. This is a time where we have to be declaring that new year, new me. We have to start declaring that, you know what, I'm going to walk in, in the favor of the Lord. I'm going to be that woman of God that God called me to be. And I'm not going to let these evil dream feedings stop me. I'm not going to let the will of the devil stop me. The will of, you know, demonic, evil, arrogant people at my job stop me. I'm not going to let my evil family members stop me. Like this is a moment and a season where this morning I am feeling it heavy in my spirit from the Lord that this is a morning of change. This is a morning of breakthrough. Amen. This is a, a morning where you guys are going to be able to perceive things differently. And this is a morning where you guys are going to see with more clarity that you guys need this. This membership is not to benefit me. This membership is, is going to benefit you. Amen. That $25 donation is is going to give you a lot of perks, but you have to look at it as an investment for yourself that you need this. You are going to be blessed by being connected to other women of God. You are going to be blessed by being a part of something that is going somewhere. Amen. In the spirit. And then when it, when we take it there spiritually, then it will manifest publicly. Then it will manifest because if we don't make it there spiritually first, then it's not going to, and that's the problem where so many people and so many other ministers Ministries and memberships, they want to see everything quick and fast in the physical. And it does not work like that with the Lord. We are not a ministry that is going to take shortcuts. We are going to do this and we're going to do it right. And we're going to pray and we're going to fast and we're going to see God and we're going to read our word and we're going to worship and we're going to do what we have to do. We're going to press in. Amen. So that God can look with favor upon us and he can bless our lives. So after this live, go to destroyingevilalters.com, go to the membership page and sign up and become a member. Put the donation of $25. Don't look at it like it's going to bless me. Look at it like it is going to bless you. It is for you, for your spiritual growth, for your marriage. It is for your children. You need to start growing in the Lord. You cannot go into 2024 with the same mindset like, oh man, the roadblocks. Oh man, the witchcraft is winning. Oh man, the evil people. Man, I never get a break. Oh my God, it's always horrible. The situation don't ever change. I, and you know now that God forgot about me no that victimization mindset we got to do away with it it's time for you to have a new mindset on it's time for you to have a new brain a, a new heart a new right that's why I remember what David asked him in the beginning he said um where was it he said something about a divided heart he said give me an undivided heart he says so that I may fear your name instead of you fearing the devil you see, that undivided heart will help you fear God. Amen. And know that you it's better for you to fear God and focus on God and what he's doing than to be focused on the devil and what the devil keeps trying to do to your life over and over and over. You have to change that mindset. Amen. And you're going to do it. You're going to overcome those dreams. You're going to overcome, you know, the enemy. You're going to overcome those evil altars, but you're going to do it in a way. I'm not telling you, hey, drop a seed right now so the miracle could come. No, we're not that type of ministry. You drop a seed if you feel it in your heart on our website. But I'm telling you, to get into covenant with God. Amen. There's no greater reward because you, some people just, how many prophets, fake prophets don't do that to y'all or do that to the people of God. Oh yeah. Drop something right now. The thing is going to be broken now. Like I believe it's already broken, but I don't got to tell you to come into covenant like that in that way all the time. Like a lot of these people do, because what good is it for you to drop a seed Boom. You think that God works like that? Like, I right, let her drop that seed, bless the prophet, and then they go back into their sin and they go back into their lukewarm life and they go back. No, God wants a connection. His heart wants to be aligned with your hearts. 
And that's the difference between me and a lot of them. That I'm telling you the way it is. Their hearts, God's heart needs to be aligned. That he wants to be one with you wherever you at. Whether you're watching me from Mexico, from California, from Texas, wherever you at. Because I know that that's where a lot of the, the viewers and the ladies are. Florida, New York. I don't know where you guys are watching me from right now. But I know that that's where a lot of y'all are at. You know, God wants you to invade your city. He wants you to invade your, your job, right? He wants you to invade. He wants the DEA Alpha Squad invading the territory. <laughs> Amen. So we have to look at it like that. We are on a bigger assignment than you can even think and understand. The assignment over your life is bigger than what you can perceive right now at the moment. But the Lord will give clarity to the prophet, clarity to the pastors so that they can see and speak that over your life. So I see that now the bigger purpose that is coming for the leadership team that is about to be launched really soon. Hopefully this week, next week on in our um ministry. And I feel like, you know, we are about to invade, you know, territories for the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you did, if this video was a blessing to your life, like it, share it. If you have a sister in Christ that is going through, you know, dream feedings or that has been going through some stuff, please be a blessing into her life. Like don't be one of those selfish sisters. Okay. In Christ tag i know that y'all gotta have like three different sisters like three different friends at least i hope y'all do right tag a sister tag a cousin tag your grandma tag your mom tag you know your neighbor send the video to them and be like listen to this word it's gonna bless your life why because they're gonna see the kingdom they're gonna see spiritual things that they maybe never heard before this video will teach them they will learn something amen if they come with an open heart but if they come and be like oh my god this sounds like craziness i'm leaving <laughs> like you know that's on them but at least you did your part and you shared the word with somebody at your job you shared the word with somebody who who hopefully wants to learn about the lord and if they don't that's on them we continue to move forward the kingdom of god and god is going to bring new people amen with new mindsets into our life you know so we don't have to stress the bible says that the harvest is plentiful amen we we focus sometimes on one harvest and one part of the kingdom and we're, or one part of the world no we have to understand that the harvest of the lord is plentiful and there are so many people out there amen that want the kingdom and desire the kingdom and they just can't find it amen so that's where we come in we have to go out there and put our hands to the plow and look for those people that are in need and that desire and want the kingdom amen and they will come when we are prayed up the ones that need to come will come but we got to get out that mindset that oh god you got to send multitudes and and if it's not multitudes it's not of god no the bible says that where two or three are gathered together in the name of the lord he says that he is there amongst them so we have to get out of that mindset of oh my god god is only there if it's plentiful and it's thousands of people no god is there when there is two or three so when you are on an assignment you understand that you are there with the spirit of the lord and even if it's two or three people that are there with you and that are in agreement to bless someone's life and help that person break free from the bondage then you are doing exactly what god called you to do that is true ministry there's so much ministry that happens that people cannot see on facebook there are ministries out there that want to show you every single step of the way ah this is what we're doing ah that's what we're doing Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing that just to be seen by people. But there are people that on that know that real ministry doesn't happen on Facebook all the time. Yeah, there may be things you can share and, and show people, but there are certain things that are not going to be seen that are going to be done behind the scenes in people's lives. And there are people that are not going to want to share that publicly. So that's where you really see, you know, the power of God being manifested in our lives. But that's the reason why the dream feedings happen. Because like I said, it's just the devil trying to stop the will of God from happening. You know, to, he's trying to distract us and put fear in our hearts through those dream feedings. But when we wake up in the mighty name of Jesus and let him know like it's not happening, wrong assign, like you sent the wrong, um, what is that? You send the wrong, um, 
Like, I always forget because I know the words in English and Spanish. You send the wrong projection into the wrong one today. I, I send that projection right back to where it came from in the name of Jesus. Like, they get frustrated because they realize that, you know, their magic is powerless. That's why when you're dealing with, with, with certain witch doctors, remember, you got some witch doctors that you could easily rebuke it. But there's other witch doctors that are really, I'm talking about, they don't sacrifice their mother, their children four or five of their children so they got really like strong powers this is the reason why you need to be connected to a membership because some people's destinies and some people's um witchcraft attacks and and roadblocks are 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 stronger than others and this is why when and, and when they battle with one of y'all they battle with all of us right this is why they be like ah nah, it's a battle now nah, we taking them all down all that little bible study group all that little dea group now nah, we're gonna try to take them all down and that's why we have to stay united in the spirit because understand just because it's facebook just because we're on social media and we're in all these different places it doesn't mean that we are not the church we are the church of jesus christ jesus christ said do what baptize people and go and spread the word into what all nations we facebook is a platform where we are taking the word of god into the nations amen the the word right now it could be heard in india it could be heard in africa it could be heard in pakistan it could be heard in so many places in london and the uk it could be heard everywhere amen but the algorithm may not want to get it out there but this is why it's important for you to like it and for you to share it so that the algorithm could promote the gospel but people don't want to promote the gospel a girl could come on here and be twerking and people will promote that they will promote pranks like it's nobody's business but you ever notice why people are not as encouraged to promote the word of god you ever thought about that why is it that people don't promote the word of god because the word of god is power amen this has power to over to stop people from from living these lukewarm lives and really get committed to god you know if we have more people doing that believe you me that the world would be a better place <laughs> amen so i love you guys let me let you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed this time that we had together this morning i got up early i was like i'm gonna give y'all this word i wanted to jump on a little bit last night but i didn't get a chance to, to talk to you guys about that but we were speaking about yesterday about the demons remember how the, the devil how he tried to tempt jesus amen in the mount so i didn't get a chance to um jump on here last night with that with y'all because i was like working and cleaning and stuff like that but you know i hope you guys like i said were able to at least enjoy this word like it like i said share it and tag your sisters your friends your aunties and everybody in the in the comment section put the at button and then put their initial a b c and their name will pop up and that's how you could tag them on there if just in case if somebody doesn't know how to tag them on there okay ladies so i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video god bless